Hello, my darling friends, Crystal, your dating coach. Happy New Year. Let's begin this new year loving ourselves and making it the best year ever. Eight things we are not going to do in 2022. Number one, we're going to eliminate everyone who is toxic and negative in our life. We're going to surround ourselves only with people who want our happiness, who tell us, yes, you can, you can do it. It's possible. And then, oh, you can't do that. Oh, that's impossible. Oh, don't try that. No, we need to surround ourselves only with positive people. Yes, of course, they're going to be negative and toxic people in our life, but they're not going to be part of our life. We're not going to discuss our goals, our plans, our hopes and dreams with them. So eliminate everyone toxic in your life. And if you're in a relationship with someone who is toxic, bringing you down, criticizing you, never telling you that you're special, you can do it. While, yes, you can do anything you set your mind out to do and maybe just telling you you can't. You won't, it's impossible. Weighing you down, eliminate that person. Number two, let's stop saying yes when we really want to say no. Just to please someone, but pleasing someone to and hurting ourselves. Okay, I'm not saying become arrogant and selfish. If you can help someone, be kind, do it. But if you can't, you can't. So if someone asks you for money and you don't have it, you can't give them your last money. You don't have it. So don't say yes. Okay, here's 20, here's 30. No, you give only what you can. Actually, just give money that you're never going to see it again. Someone wants to stay at your place a few days, but your place is small and you're struggling all by yourself. Say no. Stop saying yes when you want to say no. Stop trying to please everyone. Because by pleasing people, you're not helping them. Sometimes you're hurting them because you're hurting yourself. So let's stop saying, yes, I can do this. Yes, I'll come to your party. Yes, you can come over. Yes, I'll loan you money. Yes, yes, when you really want to say no. Say no. I'm not able to. I won't be able to do that. I'm sorry I can't. Number three, similar to number two, helping people. Yes, if you can help someone, help them. But if you're constantly helping someone, you're telling them how to be a better person. You're telling them how to be more ambitious. You're telling them to leave that bad relationship, but they continue to do the same thing. So you stop. You stop helping them. Obviously, they don't want your help, even though they may ask you for your help, but they're not taking it. So stop draining yourself by worrying about them and trying to help someone who obviously doesn't want to be helped. Stop. Just stop. Help yourself. Make yourself a better person. Stop trying to help someone who doesn't want to be helped. The only people who can marry for love are the very rich or the very poor. So don't feel guilty because you want a wealthy, successful man. Even men, you want a wealthy, successful woman. You want the top. You want the best. Don't feel guilty. It's okay to reach for the stars, for the moon. Only thing, just make a plan. Be objective. Be objective. Dress for success. Make a plan to have the person over you, higher than you, above your level. But you do everything in your life to become a successful person. So you will attract a successful person. So do not feel guilty because you want a high value woman. You want a high value man. Number six, stop putting things off. You want to make a blog. You want to become a YouTuber. You want to travel. You want to quit your job. You want to change your apartment. Do it. Do it. Yeah. It's not easy. 
I'm not saying it's easy. It's difficult. Of course it's difficult to change your apartment, get a new job, but you can do it. Just make a plan. Stop being miserable in that situation or start doing what you want to do. Whatever it is, you can do it. Only obstacle is you. So let's stop putting things off. Number seven. Goes with eliminating negative, toxic people. Let's get a bit of phony friends. Yeah, you know. You know who I'm talking about. The person that you always call. You always send a message to. You always organize. But they never contact you. They never organize anything with you. You find out they went to a party, an engagement event, but you weren't invited. Then they have an excuse why they didn't invite you. And it's always a reason why they haven't contacted you. No, these are phony friends and you don't need them in your life. You need real friends, people who care about you, who want you in their life and want to be in your life. So let's just eliminate these phony baloney friends that you are always contacting, but they're never contacting you. Okay, my darlings, number eight, last but not least, let's stop lowering our standards and accepting things. Higher your standards. As I said before, go for the best, the best that you can have in your life. The best job, the best apartment, the best man, the best woman. Don't settle. You don't have to settle in this life. You can do, you can be anything you want. You can. I am an example. I'm just an ordinary American girl from New York City, born in Harlem, USA, ordinary family. I wanted to be a model. So I came to Milan, the fashion capital of the world, and I became a model. I had a goal. I had a plan. You can do whatever you want. Stop lowering your standards. Stop saying, I can't. Stop saying it's impossible. You can do, you can be anyone you want to be. So what is it that you want to be? What is it that you want to do? What is your goal? What are your plans for 2022? Number one, to be happy. To be happy. So do whatever you need to do to be happy. Mwah. Have a great 2022. Love you. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe you have a suggestion, things we should not do in 2022. Give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and thank you if you have subscribed and subscribe. Come on, hit that little button, subscribe, and help my channel grow. Mwah.